Hi, this is Bobby the Swedish Boomer Cowboy. Today I will tell you the story behind not one but 15 AK-47 skins used in the past by the Bosnian professional CSGO player Nemanja Kovac, more known by his alias Hunter. Uh, he has played for the German team G2 since 2019 and made a great success together with his cousin Nico, now most recently winning the Intellect Remasters in Katowice. In the end of this video I will also tell you about how one of Hunter's AK-47s actually ended up in my inventory and how I convinced Hunter to suggest a name tag for it. Hunter is well known for being a CSGO skins enthusiast and he changes his inventory as often as some change their underwear. I like CSGO skins and I'm changing it uh, like often so I like it. He often pick up uh, the newest skins from the newly re released cases and uh, use them in tournaments after applying some G2 or Hunter stickers to them. And uh, since uh, Hunter joined G2 in uh, 2019 he has owned no less than 15 different AK-47s that I will showcase for you here today. So if you are a Hunter fan and would like to own one of his AKs or any other skins he used in game, I would say it wouldn't be impossible to find one on the open market if you know how to do your research. Another interesting thing about uh, Hunter's inventory is that he almost always built it on a color theme. And uh, so far I have found that he in the past had full inventories with uh, blue skins, yellow skins, green skins, purple skins and now most re recently black and white skins. Uh, the ones you see here uh, come from the history function in CSGO Exchange where I tracked down all the skins Hunter used in the past. As you clearly can see, uh, Hunter really likes uh, variation when it comes to skins and I'm impressed by the pace he keeps changing his loadout. But let's start looking at all the AK-47s he used to own, starting with the Statrak AK-47 Redline with the float 0.2925 and uh, this one has got two Hunter Foil Berlin 2019 stickers, one G2 Berlin 2019 sticker and one Hunter Berlin 2019 sticker applied. He used this AK from August 2019 to March 2020 and at this time he had a very mixed inventory and did not seem to care about skins much at all looking at his choices. But uh, then he decided to be more organized and went with a loadout of only blue skins and uh, had this blue laminate as a start. It's an AK-47 blue laminate with a float uh, 0.026 and one Team Liquid MLG Columbus 2016 sticker, one ESL Colon 2016 sticker, one Cloud9 Katowice 2019 sticker applied. And he used this AK for a short while in December 2019 to March 2020. Later in May 2020 he still had his blue themed loadout but decided to exchange the blue laminate for this AK-47 Vulcan with uh, the float 0.2099 and uh, on this one he put the uh, 3 Hunter Foil Berlin 2019 sticker and 1 G2 Esports Atlanta 2017 sticker. He used the Vulcan until September 2020 when he changed to a full yellow loadout and uh, picked up this AK-47 Phantom Disruptor with the float 0 0.0080 uh, that he never applied any stickers to. And he kept this until November when he changed back to a blue themed <laughs> inventory again and uh, this AK-47 blue laminate again with the float 0 0.056. And this one had one Team LDLC Katowice 2014 sticker, one Titan Clutch Napoca 2015 sticker, one Titan Katowice 2014 sticker and one North Berlin 20 sticker applied. Then in January 2021 he uh, changed uh, once again and uh, just for two weeks he used this uh, Pantera Onca with the float 0.1068. Uh, and he never put stickers on this one. I guess he didn't like the Onka. Then in February 2021 he decided to make a full green inventory and got this stat track AK-47 Jaguar with the float 0.1499. And on this one he applied the two G2 RMR gold stickers and two Hunter Berlin 2019 gold stickers. And this AK really holds a special place in my heart, but I will save the details about why to the end of this video, so bear with me while we move on to the next AK that he got in July 2021. 
This time a stat track AK-47 Elite build with the float 0 0.006 and uh, in this one he applied two Hunter Gold Berlin 2019 stickers and two G2 Gold 2020 RMR stickers. After that in September 2021 he was back to black and this is stat track AK-47 slate with the float 0.1187 and on this one he applied three G2 Esports Atlanta 2017 stickers. Then uh, once again he went for a full blue loadout and he used this stat track AK-47 Elite Museo with the float uh, 0.1250. And on this one he applied 4 G2 Esports Foil Stockholm 2021 stickers and he used it for only a month in my hometown during the Stockholm Major. In January 2022 he once again uh, was uh, back to a full green loadout and uh, used this AK-47 green laminate with the float 0.068. And uh, on this one he applied 2 G2 Esports Stockholm 2021 holo stickers and 2 Hunter Stockholm 2021 holo stickers. Then just after a month uh, again he was uh, back to black and another stat track AK-47 slate with the float 0.1114. And uh, on this one he uh, applied 4 G2 Esports Stockholm 2021 foil stickers. In July 2022 for the first time he went for a purple loadout starting out with a quite newly released uh, stat track AK-47 Nightwish with a float 0.1496 and on this one he decided to put 4 G2 2020 RMR foil stickers. He then stayed with the purple theme but uh, changed the Nightwish for a stat track AK-47 Neon Rider with a float 0.081. And on this one he applied 4 G2 2020 RMR stickers. I uh, guess that he uh, got tired of wasting money on uh, very expensive stickers and uh, for this time he started to use the paper stickers. And uh, finally we uh, have come to the AK that he got in December 2022 and still uses today. This is uh, the stat track AK-47 slate with the float 0.1496. And this one has got 4 G2 Esports Stockholm 21 uh, stickers applied to it. Let's see how long he can hold on to this one before changing color theme again. And uh, now for you that's nerd enough to stay with me this long. Let's get back to the exciting story about the AK-47 Jaguar that I own today and why it holds a special place in my heart. Well, it's uh, due to the funny fact that I actually owned this exact AK before Hunter and that I, without knowing, sold it to him on the Steam market in 2021. Uh, and he then applied 200 gold Berlin stickers and two G2 RMR gold stickers on it and used it for five months until 2021. Now, they both made it over. Refresh needs to get activated as well. Oh, look at the kills from Hunter. What? Absolutely disgusting. A nasty 180 as well. Oh, and they've so just gone oh. past each other. They've just dodged each other. Hunter's gonna get it though, and now it's down to the 1v1. The realization dawning just a little too late. Grim up against it all without a smoke for the defuse either. So he has to fight this and he has to win it big. Wrapping around, Hunter is hiding. Hunter's hungry. Just playing the time, playing with his food, in oh, with the swing. Rumps is taking him down, and Hunter is going to have to clutch it out completely. Rumps is buying time, praying for it. Hunter. Trying to bait out the shot and Robs is so good on these angles but Hunter not then good traded enough. away this AK on a trading site in uh, August 2021 and it finally ended up in the Jaguar Collector Legos inventory and he contacted me after noticing the funny trade history with both me and Hunter owning this AK in the past. Lego was uh, then kind enough to let me buy this uh, AK from him so this AK is now back in my inventory and I have a special place in my legendary Pro Skins collection. But the story doesn't stop here. I noticed that Hunter never put name tags on his AKs and I think it's sad since a name gives the skin so much more personality. So I come up, up with the idea to try and convince uh, Hunter to name my AK-47 uh, Jaguar previously owned by him. So. Uh, as usual, uh, I turned to the Twitter CSGO community that uh, helped me out to make uh, my tweet about this uh, rich hunter. 
and I'm so happy we actually succeeded. Hunter answered my tweet and suggested the name tag Hunter's Gold for my AK-47. So a big thanks to Hunter for being such a wholesome uh, guy in naming this uh, AK and also to the Twitter community for helping me reaching out to Hunter. This AK-47 is uh, now without a doubt the best uh, out uh, there when it comes to Hunter uh, previously owned AKs. And not only because the fact that uh, it's the only AK owned by Hunter that uh, ever had a name tag applied by him, but also uh, because the Jaguar with its uh, camouflage pattern and the crosshair fits the Hunter theme so well. And as the icing on the cake, this is uh, one of only two AK-47 used by Hunter that uh, has gold stickers applied. So to say the least, I'm very happy having this legendary pro skin in my skins collection. That's all for now. Take care, cowboys.